Prince of Persia, The Forgotten Sands, false. So, at the very end, the game does get really freaking epic. I mean, you really feel like Ratash is someone you kind of need to put a stop to, you know. And once you start going into the sandstorm itself, having to jump into nothing, just jumping blindly, just hoping that you'll, you know, grab a hold of something or that there'll be an enemy you can, you know, leap onto something, that was pretty cool. Now, at the very end, once Ratash has been defeated and all the soldiers of the kingdom begin the tedious task of removing all of the sand from their shorts, we kind of realize why this sort of gets away with being a midquill that introduces a brother to the unnamed prince. The brother got a name, lucky SOB. Who is never mentioned in any of the later games, because apparently this takes place, as far as I understand, between Sands of Time and Warrior Within. Which, I guess, means that, you know, the Dahaka hasn't quite realized that it should be chasing you yet, or something, whatever. Anyway, I personally probably wouldn't talk that much about a brother that I had to kill, either, in the Oscar clip moment of the bland, you know, tragic death scene of, oh, I know, it's and it's okay, and tell our father that, you know, <laughs> yeah, we're not listening anymore, dude, just, just die quickly. Don't try to do this. Is it just me, or did the very ending seem kind of tacked on? I mean, you know, wait through the credits, and then there's just this... a couple of still shots with the prince's narration, like, you know, somebody realized, guys, we didn't actually wrap this up, you know, we just have the brother dying and that's kind of it. We should really explain what happens afterwards, you know, why isn't the prince carrying the sword around? Personally, I think it's because it's just creepy to have a sword with a chick inside. My girlfriend suggested that maybe he tried to make out with it. That would also explain, you know, bad memories, cleaved tongue, cleaved other parts of the anatomy. Anyway, I understand, is what I'm saying. Wait, wait, wait. Isn't the opposing army still there? You know, if the sands are now gone, doesn't, you know, Malik's forces still have to hold off against this other army, or did they all die? Did they not come back after the sands disappeared, you know, weren't they just frozen, or were they actually defeated? I don't know, maybe this was actually addressed, I'll admit that, you know, I played this game over a bunch of days, so I may have forgotten plot points, but I'm not sure that was addressed.